What's good everybody? Welcome back to Ride Razor. My name is Austin and today we are here for another custom scooter build. Summer is unfortunately coming to an end and that means school is right around the corner. So we thought it was only right for this custom scooter build to be back to school themed. So, not only are we going to be customizing a John Radke Signature Phase 2 scooter, we're also going to be customizing a Razor Hovertrax Hoverboard. So, not only will one of you lucky viewers get the chance to win the scooter and the hoverboard, we're actually going to be giving you guys a custom pair of Back to School Edition Air Force Ones made by our good pal, Julian Camarena. So, now that we know what we're doing in today's video, let's talk about the theme. When I think of back to school or school in general, I think of composition books. I don't know how many of you guys watching this video right now know what a composition book is, so we'll put an image on the screen for you. Those have a special place in my memory, so I thought it was only right that we use it as the theme for today's video. Alrighty, so before we get building and painting, let's give a quick shout out to the winner of the last video, which is... Boom. Right there, man. We hope you guys enjoyed the Space Jam edition, Ripstick Rush and Scooter. That one was an absolute blast to film, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. I have the hoverboard here all taped up. Since this hoverboard is already white and the scooter's already black, we're gonna be using the hoverboard to resemble the actual pages in the notebook. So it'll be white with the blue lines going through it where you would actually write. And once that dries, we're gonna be painting the pink horizontal line just to really give it that notebook page feel. Since the scooter is already black, we're gonna be paint sputtering the bar white to pretty much resemble the front cover of the notebook or at least as close as we can get. There's no way we're not gonna be able to accomplish that composition notebook look. Let's start painting. Alrighty, so we just finished up the painting. We're gonna let that dry. And somehow I managed to not cover myself in paint this time around, so I'm very grateful. While we let the paint dry, I'm gonna pass it over to Julian so he can get started on the shoes. All right guys, while the scooter's drying up, I have a pair of Air Force Ones right here and we're gonna make them notebook paper themed. All right, so the blue, it's got the horizontal lines going across the paper, pink, for the vertical lines. First step, gotta get our acetone, gotta clean up the shoes before we put any marker on it so that the paint can stay. So this washes off the finish that comes from the factory so that your paint can stay for a longer period of time and you can seal it correctly. It also helps with cracking and stuff like that. So these shoes are a size eight for my good old friend. Austin Spencer so that he can wear them to present the Razor scooter that one of you guys will be winning. For the winner of the giveaway, I will be custom making a pair for you as well. Time to start taping, this might take a while. All right guys, finished up this part of the shoe, masked off basically everything on the front end. It's not perfect, but this shall do for Mr. Austin Spencer. Time to mask off the sides in the back and we should be good, but I still got this whole other shoe. Stay tuned. Let's go, I just finished. Two hours later, got the taping down. Now it's time for the blue lines and let's see how this comes out. This part is about to be very satisfying when I take off all the tape, just watch. Okay, I'm finally done. Dude, I had to make sure everything was perfect. Now we're gonna take off the tape and do a couple pink lines and paint the swoosh pink. So let's do it, let's do it. So far, so good. It's not perfect, but that's okay because this was made with love and this is going to my best bud, Austin Spencer. Aww. All right, so. We got our insides taped up for our pink line. We're gonna add this to the inside to give it a little pink touch, you know, like notebook paper. And we are gonna paint the outside swooshes pink.
right, guys. We have finally finished. I'm very excited how it came out. Check it out. Austin, I hope you love these. And I love you, man. We used my laser engraver to engrave the sides of the shoe. So as you can see right here, we have Razor. We have Austin on the right shoe. We have Spencer on the left, Austin Spencer. And we have the Razor Sprocket logo on there. On top of the laser engraving, we have the matte finish to seal it up so the paint doesn't fall off if Austin decides to ride in the shoes. And another pair is going to one of you guys, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below and tell us why you think you should be the winner. And who knows, you might get your own pair of custom shoes by the man himself. Now, we're going back to Austin, baby. Woo! All right, so we are here, we made it to the vault. We got some parts picked out, so we're gonna get building on this scooter. Let's take a step over here and check out all the parts that we got. Okay, so obviously we're gonna be sticking with a little bit of a pink and blue theme to go with the paper of the composition book, but we don't wanna overdo it, so we're gonna be throwing in a bit of silver and black, and I think it's gonna turn out great. And so starting off, we're gonna be throwing on these pink ODI bar ends. This is a Tilt Arc double clamp in silver. We're gonna be um, matching it with the Ethic Marrow fork in silver as well. To add a hint of blue, this is an Aztec headset, but it is in the aqua colorway, so it's a nice faded teal. To match that teal, we're gonna be going with a pair of our boy Brock Rayford Signature Odyssey grips in the light blue colorway. This custom is gonna be rolling on these black on black Tilt Durer wheels. We decided to go with a sheet of white grip tape. We were gonna try to make it look like paper, but since the shoes and the rest of the build already kind of distinguished the composition book look, we decided to just stick with a nice classic sheet of white grip tape. And finally, we decided to throw on a pair of TV aluminum pegs. We've never put pegs on any of these builds before, so this is gonna be the first time. So if you guys like pegs and you wanna see pegs in more of the customs, just let us know because we'll do it. So we'll see how it turns out. So those are all the parts that we're gonna be throwing on this scooter. There's nothing left to do but start building it. Alrighty, so we just finished up the grip tape. It looks good. I think the white grip tape really does contrast nicely with the deck. And once we get the bar on too, it's gonna look really sick. But we're gonna move on to the fork. So uh, let's grab our headset, let's grab our fork and uh, get it installed. Easy that was, dude. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Boom, grips are on, bar ends are on, clamp is on. I think we're good to throw it on the scooter. Oh, don't hit myself, don't hit myself, there's pegs. This thing actually like turned out super sick. Alrighty, so we just finished up the scooter, and as you guys can see, it came out better than I could have ever imagined. The paint spotter bar looks just like the composition book. The teal and pink accents tie into the paper and the pages in the book better than I could have ever imagined, and I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. But I wanna remind you that this video is, of course, a giveaway. So one of you lucky viewers watching the video right now is gonna win the whole package. Not only are you gonna win the scooter, the hoverboard, you're also gonna be winning your own pair of custom painted Air Force Ones to match the scooter and the hoverboard with your own name engraved in them, just like these ones on my feet right now. Wow. So, if you guys want the chance to win the whole package, all you have to do is make sure to like this video, subscribe to the Ride Razor channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment on this video right now, and you'll be entered to win the whole package. If you have any recommendations for future custom build themes, make sure to let us know down in the comment section below because we'd love to hear what you guys want to see, and believe it or not, we read the comments. So, until the next video, have a good one.